dear friends, Ignatius would want us even to prepare ourselves for prayer. So I have put it in two groups. One is the external preparation, one is the internal preparation. And the external could be taken from that sentence in scripture. Early the next morning, Jesus withdrew and went to a lonely place to pray. So early in the morning, not when it's too bright, but at sometime dusk or twilight, you withdraw. Withdraw from your regular activities, withdraw from the people that you meet and you go to a lonely place, a place that you like to be. Ignatius would say one more thing, your posture when you are in contact, your reverence for God. That would be the external. Early in the morning, in the evening, withdrawing, lonely place and your posture when you are with God. The internal, my dear friends, and Ignatius tells this to us in a very uh, nice way in the spiritual exercises. He says the person who receives the exercises is helped in a wonderful way if coming to them with a great generous spirit, they offer all their effort to God. So generosity, effort and offering, the internal attitude when you come to pray. Generosity plays an important part in Ignatian spirituality because God has given us so much, Ignatius would say, we should return back in generosity. The effort, the desire, like a deer that pants for water, so my soul longs after you. And finally, the offering. That's why Ignatius makes that beautiful prayer. Take, O Lord, and receive my liberty, my understanding, that complete offering to God. Two more small points Ignatius puts, and that is, he says, ask Mary or ask the saints or your loved ones to intercede with God so that you, your graces are fulfilled. And the second thing he says, that affection, feel that affection, that warmth, that sadness, that dryness, that challenge that you might feel. Feel it, he says, in your prayer. Now, my dear friends, you know, there are times that there are abnormal situations, you know, in life where sometimes you'll get some distressing news or an accident or a sickness and you can't get into the preparation mode. Ignatius himself says that he got news once where every bone in his body shook. But he went to the chapel and within 15 minutes, he was able to accept it as God's will. And what about Jesus when he went to Gethsemane and he sweated blood? But pretty soon we are told that he steadies himself and he's able to face the challenge. Let us get into prayer and prepare ourselves so that we enjoy and draw strength from our prayer. God bless.